Okay, so we're going to learn about uh, doing a check and deposits and then uh, balancing our checkbook account with it. Okay, so first thing I'm going to go over is what some of the places on the check mean. Okay, right here, this first set of numbers that I've circled, this is the bank routing number. And this is sort of like the bank identification number. If you enter that into a computer, it uh, you type that in and it's going to come up, you know, that this is Citizens Bank and Trust. This right here is your account number. Um, so this person's account was 1100700. Of course, this is a, a closed account. And then this is the check number, which you see up here, 726. So this is more like for the computer to read, but that's what those numbers are. Okay, so the first thing we got up here is to put the date, and I've already written it in here, and it's January the 17th of 2017. And what we're doing is you're pretending that this is a check that your character received. And so this is Michaels, and he was Parker the paramedic. And so we're going to pretend that he received a check from his grandma because she's so proud of him for going and getting the training and becoming a paramedic. So she's sending him a $150 check. Okay, now I told the kids that you cannot receive a check more than $200 because immediately, you know, somebody said, oh, I won the ladder lottery and I got a check for, you know, a million. So we're trying to do something realistic uh, according to our character that you're going to be this semester. So this came from his grandma. And so right here in this box is where you put the number amount of a check. And so he was Parker the paramedic. Let's, let's pretend his name was, uh, well, we're just going to uh, go ahead and write Parker the paramedic on here. Parker. And we'll pretend that his last name is Jones. Parker Jones. So this is where it says pay to the order of. This is the person that the check is going to. So this is a check that went to Parker from his grandma. So down here is where she signs her name. And we're just going to pretend her name is Granny Jones. And this would not be printed. You sign it. Okay, and it's in your signature, what we call cursive. Down here. This can be printed or cursive, either one right here. All right, so now this is where we write the amount, but written out in word form. So it's going to be one hundred fifty dollars, and then we're going to put the change, and we're going to put that it's there's no cents. No, I see there's 100 pennies makes a dollar, so it's no out of 100. If it would have been 50 cents, I would have put 50 out of 100 right here. And then I'm going to do this to fill in the blank area um, just to make sure nothing else could be written there. Sort of a security thing. Okay, and so right down here is what the check is for. And so Grandma, uh, let's say she said it was for graduation because he completed his training. So this is the check that Parker received. So that's what you do uh, with your blank check that I'm left with your with someone to give to you or that I mailed to you for the ones of you that missed class. So you fill it in pretending that it's a check that your character received. Okay. Next we're going to have this. And this is a copy of a deposit slip. So we're going to pretend that we take our check to the bank and we're going to deposit that check into the bank. Okay, now so obviously right here, this was just something I printed out from a, a, a manual. So these two things don't match. Um, in reality, your deposit slips, well, not from the check you receive because that's going to be from somebody else, but a check you write uh, your routing number is in your deposit slips are going to be the same on your bank if it's a check from your bank. Like right here, this is pretending it's from last national bank. And so a check that you write and then your deposit slip going to both have your bank routing number on it. But this is a check that came from someone. So we're depositing in the, into our account. And this is our pretend account. So it doesn't have anything right here on the account number. Okay, so you just write the date. So this would be you know, like this is a pretend, but this would be Parker the par paramedic if it was, you know, pretending it was our character. 
And so we're depositing the check. And up here, if we had any cash, we would put it here. And I told them they could put a little deposit, a little cash. Like let's say you, uh, you know, took out the trash all month, or you um, mowed the lawn for your neighbor. So we're gonna pretend that you mowed the yard for your neighbor, and she paid you thirty-five dollars cash. And so that's gonna go here. Y'all can do some cash amounts on your deposit, but keep it small because this is just adding a little something to it. Now this shows coin. Um, if you, you know, had a yard sale and you had a bunch of quarters or for some reason you were paid in change, you would put it there. But that's very rare that anything's put there. And then see this next area is for checks. And that's what we have. We have our check here. So we're going to put the check was $150. And here I can uh, make a little notation if I want to remember what the check was. And I'm just going to put it was from Granny or I could put graduation. Whatever I would want to say that was done. Now on a real deposit slip on the back side it has additional lines. Or if you have a whole bunch of checks to deposit. Because obviously sometimes people might have more than three. Uh, but this is just to pretend so it doesn't have anything printed on the back. And um we're not putting anything there. So our total is the 35 and the 150. So our total is 185 that we're depositing. Now, do we want any cash back? I'm going to say, you know, a lot of the kids said no, but doesn't matter. It's not a right or wrong to this. It's not who has the most money. It's just understanding where things go um, on our register. So I'm going to say that I got $20 cash back because, you know, I wanted some money. Which doesn't really make sense because I was depositing cash here. I would have just deposited 15 But anyways, just for the sake of showing y'all how it works. So the total that I'm depositing would be $165. Now, right here it's sign here only if cash was received from the deposit. Um, so I would sign it. So Parker, he's got to sign his check. Um, because he did get some cash back. If you were, if I would have only been depositing um, this check and this cash, I would not have to sign that. And this would go into my bank account because right here on your deposit slip, it would have your account number. Now, if you go in the bank and just get a blank deposit slip, it's going to have a blank spot for you to write in your account number. But the ones that come um, that you receive when you open up an account, the little slips you have have them pre-printed on there okay so we filled out our deposit slip now we're going to pretend like we're writing a check to someone um so parker he's going to write this check himself and right here sorry this accidentally got printed on it so this is where the person who writes the check signs which is another word sort of like saying it's really me that wrote this check and i give permission for this money to be withdrawn from my account so parker's going to sign it here Parker Jones. Okay. Once again, the date that the check was wrote. And Parker's a, a paramedic, so he needs, let's see, what would a paramedic maybe be spending money on? Of course, it could just be life stuff, you know. It could be um, somebody who was a policeman, you know. We did it funny, and we did that they bought a box of donuts. Um, so a paramedic, I guess they're, a lot of their equipment's provided on their job. But um, let's say he wanted some really good, comfortable shoes. And so he's going to buy himself some shoes. So he goes to uh, Payless Shoes. Payless Shoes. So remember, this is who the check is to. It's to Payless Shoes. And those, check, those uh, shoes cost him $79.31. And this is where we write the money amount. And I always like to, um, I just don't like to leave my box blank just in case somebody tried to fill in some extra numbers there and make the check read differently. So then this line is where you write the amount out in word form. So I would write $79.31. See, this time I did have some cents. 
Um, so I'm 31 out of 100 pennies. I had 31 out of 100 pennies. And this was for shoes. Okay, so I've got my check I received. You've got your deposit slip showing that check being deposited. And then you've got your check that you're writing for something. Okay, don't do anything on this blank part. This is what we're going to do when we come back to class. Bring these two things with you to class to go into your folder. And then, of course, we're going to be completing this.